Hey there, my name's Shane. I'm an independent creator who makes videos on the internet. I've been doing this for almost 10 years, so as you can imagine, I've been through a lot of cameras. I've also been through a lot of camera bags in my effort to try to protect my gear as I go out and try to get interesting shots. Well, let me show you the bag I'm currently using that I'm really excited about and I wanna show you today. This is the VanQuest Trident 21. It's 21 liter backpack with lots of excellent organization, lots of great protection, and it's extremely versatile and handy for YouTubers just like me. Stick around, we're gonna talk all about it. After almost 10 years reviewing guns and outdoor gear on YouTube, I've developed a pretty good nose for deals, and now I'm sharing what I find with you. Every day on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the late boy scout, you'll find awesome new deals on guns and outdoor gear. That's also a great place to reach me for questions and to start discussions with other gun and gear enthusiasts. My Facebook followers are also the first to know when I post my own used gear for sale. So if you like good gear for a great price, follow me on Facebook today. Before we get into that Trident 21, let me show you this. This is the Pylum, also from VanQuest. This is a great bag too, but it doesn't offer quite as much expandability, quite as much, um, I guess, compartmentalization, but it also does a pretty good job of protecting a smaller amount of camera gear. Now the actual liter size on this, I don't have at the top of my head, but it has done a decent job protecting my camera gear at uh, trade shows and in the desert and in the mountains and camping and all kinds of stuff uh, when I go out there to get interesting shots. But again, it's not quite the capacity that I need and that's why I upgraded. But before I show you the Trident 21, once again, let's talk just briefly about the Pylum. So one of the features that I loved about the Pylum was the fact that not only does it open here on the top and allow you to put your gear down in there, but it also opens all the way down the side, and spreads way open like that. You can see that we have these little panels here that actually Velcro to the sides like that to create these sort of, you know, basically compartments in which you can store cameras, lenses, all types of microphones and other gear, and basically create, again, little compartments for all your stuff, padded compartments to protect your gear. This bag has done a decent job for me, but just barely a good enough job. And that's why I decided I needed to upgrade. Folks at VanQuest, by the way, did not send me this bag. I bought this one but they did send me the Trident 21, which is this one right here. It's completely loaded up, so it's a little on the heavy side and hard to hold up, but that's okay. Um, and we're gonna talk all about how this is a far better bag for my needs. Now, the Pylum, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of it because it's a great backup bag for extra gear if I ever need to bring more than normal. But um, the Trident 21 might also do the job of carrying all that stuff, depending on what the stuff is, and we'll talk about that as we get into the entire organization of this beautiful bag here. So talking quickly about construction, the bottom of it is 1000D Cordura. That's important, nice high traction, heavy duty material, but you don't need the entire bag to be made out of that. In fact, that can be kind of a problem. In fact, I've got some full 1000D Cordura bags that are just kind of difficult to use only because they're so stiff. But when you upgrade to 500D Cordura, or downgrade or whatever you want to call it, 500D Cordura for the rest of the body, now you've got some nice supple fabric that's also very tough. And that's what I really love about this bag. So as far as the compartmentalization, as far as the organization, you can see that we've got two nice pouches here on the outside. One up top there that opens pretty nice and big. We've got dividers inside of there. One back here as well. And then we've got a nice gossamer mesh here in the front that allows you to have all types of little knickknacks and identify them easily because it's transparent. And here I've got a lavalier microphone, a great place to keep that right there. But then also here on the front, we've got some nice shock cord that allows you to attach extra gear, whatever it could be. And then we've also got that Velcro there to uh, slap your morale patches or attach other small dividers. So that's a pretty cool situation. Moving down the front of the bag, you can see we've got this big pouch here as well as some loop Velcro there. And that is also Molly cut. Uh, we've got space to add S beaners, carabiners and whatnot, little multi-tools and so forth. And then we've got this zippered area right here. If we unsnap this, which retains that shut, 
pull that down, we've got a great big cavernous space in there. Again, for small flat items or basically whatever. You could put uh, some small lights in there. You could put um, lots of wires and cables and camera gear and all that type of stuff in there. Uh, very versatile. But then that's not all. We've also got this gigantic space here. Plenty of space for compact tripods, flashlights, other gear, and basically whatever you want. This expands out pretty nicely, so you got lots of room there in the front. We haven't even gotten to the main compartment, so we'll get to that in a second. First, we've got one or two more things to show you on the outside. Turning around here to this side, again, some more of that Hypalon Molly. Very nice, very small, or very slim, very flat. I really like that about it. You can see that this snaps right here to keep this whole thing shut. And then on that side, right there, we've got one more external pouch. Opens way up to keep some more flat items. But in addition to that, we've got a big water bottle area right there. So that will hold a full Nalgene or just about anything else. You can also zip that shut to make it flat if you don't intend to uh, carry water in the bag. So that's nice and out of the way. Onto the top, we've got a great big carry handle wrapped in neoprene, very comfortable to carry long distances. And that brings us to the back, the straps, and where you actually lay this on your back. So we've got these enormous channels here, completely mesh, very big and padded, that will allow you to rest that again on your back, uh, kind of give you lots of space to let the sweat, sweat kind of blow away and wick away. Uh, but it's also very comfortable to kind of keep on your back for extended periods of time. Straps, curved to go along with your body. Uh, lots of points for you to add additional stuff. Nice cross strap there. And does that have a whistle on it? Yes, it does. Little whistle on the cross strap. Um, very adjustable as well for any size body. So as a backpack, it's perfect. I have no complaints at all. Also underneath those straps, we've got this hidden compartment. Could be for CCW, could be for hydration, could be for any number of other things that you want to store and kind of keep out of the way. Great big compartment with a hard sort of plastic um, body there. So it's that flap doesn't just fall down. That's actually there to sort of create a nice rigid space and really kind of hide whatever happens to be back here. We've got loop side on one side, as you can see there, and that means that you can add panels, you can add your CCW holder, whatever it happens to be. Anything you need, you can kind of stuff in there. Very cool compartment. I actually have not used that on this particular backpack, but that's an important feature to have on any camera bag, I think, and uh, VanQuest has done a great job with it. Now I want to get to the main compartment, which is where this bag really shines, so let's reposition the camera and take a look at that. So there really is so much to show on the inside of this bag. I'm gonna do my best to demonstrate it well. As I said before, you've got this little snap here that holds this entire thing shut if you wanna have some security. You zip that thing wide open like that and all the way down there. And let me show you what we've got here on the inside. So this is some of my actual camera gear stuff I've used for years. What we've got right here is my Canon HFG40. It's one of my main cameras, the one I use probably most frequently. So down here, we've got my Panasonic, and this is my V770K. That fits very comfortably down in there. Let me uh, just kind of describe the interior of the bag before I get to more of the contents. You know, we've got a great little panel here for things like gaffing tape and other stuff that kind of fits sort of flat. But down in this compartment here, this main big compartment, they've given you these amazing dividers. Let me just take one out for you and kind of demonstrate what it does and how it works. It's all articulated. And so you can fold it like this, create these little boxes for yourself. Uh, you can buy more of these on the website, I believe, and kind of build this thing out as much as you need to. Or you can kind of use just the handful that they give you and uh, use them to divide up your gear, protect it, nicely padded, see there? And Velcro on this side, which interacts with all the Velcro there. So it's, this is kind of loop Velcro on the inside and then those bits of hook Velcro there. So you can use this to sort of create little tubes for stuff. You can create boxes, you can do whatever. It's very versatile. 
as far as these dividers are concerned. So we'll set that aside real quick and just remind you that the bag comes with, I believe, three of those dividers, but you can get more of them from their website. So as we're looking into this cavernous bag, you can see one more big divider here. This is one of their sticky cubes. They come in a handful of different sizes. This one is their smallest. And this is a great thing because you can throw all your cables down in there. We've actually got a little external hard drive, but all your cables, uh, plugs, adapters, that type of stuff can go down in one of these things, be self-contained for let's say you're going on an airplane and uh, TSA wants to see all your stuff kind of contained in one big thing, but it doesn't need to be a standalone container that would be, you know, like this, for instance, a standalone container that you would carry on its own. It doesn't need to be one of those. It just needs to be something, a, a compartment that has all your cables nicely organized. Well, these sticky cubes are perfect for that and they incorporate very well into the Trident 21. I showed you this briefly. This is one of their personal pocket maximizers. And on the inside here, I've got my Insta360 camera with a little bit of a USB charger and all the cables that are associated with it. This is something that will come with me sometimes on my motorcycle just as this standalone bag. That's the reason I always keep it in this little bag, but that's also easy to throw into the regular camera bag if I'm actually gonna incorporate that into something that I'm doing in one of my outings. Again, we saw the Canon there. Uh, down here, we've got a Rode VideoMic Pro uh, with the dead cat on it. Um, and that fits in there very comfortably. And that'll be something that I would actually take on a regular loadout. Down here, we've got one of my GoPros with that little floaty mount. This is something I took with me to uh, our, our recent family trip to Florida. And so we had this thing splashing around in the water all the time. I didn't need anything beyond just the GoPro, a charger. You know, I've got that spare battery pack on it. And so, you know, just a little floaty, the GoPro itself, that was all I needed in the north to get some good in the waves footage. So that's all I needed there. This here is the Insta360 selfie stick. And the way I have that is just with one of their little uh, Velcro straps. I uh, just kind of took that off another piece of the bag, set it there as a single little loop to kind of hold it in place, does a good job. Makes it so that I can uh, take that with me whenever I'm uh, doing some, some video. And then down in here, of course, we've got the MacBook Pro. I only bring this when, when, when I'm going on trips, overnights, okay? I only use that for that. But uh, this bag fits it comfortably and I really don't have any concern about the protection. Again, I've had it as a carry-on on the airplane, took it to Florida with me, had one or two cameras as well as lots of the rest of this gear that you see here now. I had no issues keeping that MacBook Pro fully protected in there, easily accessible and so forth. Getting just a little bit further into the bag, you see that there are even more compartments right there. You Velcro that open and you've got this big space there for papers, for other air, other things that you wanna divide and just kind of keep organized. So uh, again, I use that sticky cube for my cables. You don't need to, you could kind of stuff them all down in these spaces here, that would work fine just as well. However, I, I mean, I love the way that I've got this set up. It does everything that I need it to do. What I need is a studio in a backpack. I need to be able to carry just the cameras that I really need for my outing, some lighting, some sound, some basic stuff like that, wrap it all up in a, in a backpack that's really easy to carry around, that keeps my stuff protected, but also keeps me nimble, quick, and ready to work at a moment's notice. That's kind of the key for me, at least that's been my key to success. Be mobile, be quick. When you can set your stuff up easily, you've got it quickly accessible, that guarantees your success, that guarantees that you're gonna get the shots you want, make the videos you want, and so forth. So a bag like this, in my opinion, is perfect for a YouTuber like me. All right, guys, the VanQuest Trident 21 Gen 3. It's an expansion of the standard Trident line. There's also the Trident 30 and 32. All great bags, depending on the capacity you want and the capabilities you want. They're fantastic bags for any type of use, but particularly, in my opinion, very, very good for photographers, YouTubers, folks that are independent video creators like myself. I cannot recommend this bag more highly. Yes, VanQuest sent me this as a sample, but I would have bought it anyway, and I'm gonna continue using it for the next, what, decade? Could be. This is definitely a lifetime bag. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'm the Late Boy Scout. We'll see you.